All right, so here we are in the grips of coronavirus. So um, obviously that's thrown a spanner in the works for most people. Um, obviously I'm well, not going to talk about the crisis too much because everyone knows what's going on. But just in terms of cycling, because obviously that's that's what the challenge is about. Uh, but anyway, so throwing a spanner work for, in the works for most people who are training for races, etc. Obviously I'm not normally racing much. Uh, hopefully after June, you know, check the old backs all right and um, we'll get racing. But anyway, it doesn't look like there's any. So did my first race of the year. There was the um, UOBCC 10 mile TT. It wasn't, um, wasn't top there, uh, that's for sure. So it was, you know, an average day out on the bike. Like, I didn't expect much. Um, wasn't super aero really. Um, well, I mean, I had very nice wheels and et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, position wasn't class. But anyway, 30, 40k an hour. It's not flat, 135 metres of elevation, 280 something watts. That's all right. That's not terrible. Um, sort of what I expected. Um, but anyway, so it is what it is. That was how it went. I mean, I just did it for fun. It was my own unis one, so it'd be rude not to. Uh, but anyway, so training recently, obviously, we'll get on, we'll get on the peak of training. Um, so you can see it's been building up nicely. We had a, you know, a bad week um, a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, last week was good, 13, 14 hours. This week, 15 hours as well. Obviously, big goal is going to be the outs. Um, 15th of June it was going to be, but I don't think I'm going. So it's, it asks a good question, like, what am I actually training for? Obviously, I've got a hill climb season. So at the moment, I'm basically just training for the numbers, just want to get back to, like, 350 watts for 20 minutes, basically, um, and then try not to be so fat. Uh, my weight at the moment, we, we don't know. Uh, last time I weighed myself, was, like, 62 kilos, 63 kilos, so that's um that's not too bad, not too bad, but not not top, top. But anyway, so you can see we've had a decent week this week, last week, um, so to... Do a bit more training, not 100% perfect, but no, you know, not terrible. This is obviously I had a bit of knee issue, so I just took four days off the knee with the knee and then got back onto it. Obviously, because of the whole coronavirus, I'm actually on holiday now, and it's all a bit weird. But basically, I have loads of time to train, so it's class. Um, so anyway, gym physio today. Are we gonna do a gym? I don't know. <laughs> um, 8:42 when we make this, so I think that's uh, gonna be unlikely. Obviously, gyms are closed, so it's a bit bit lame. Can't really do what I'm supposed to be doing. But anyway, we'll go over to a quick ride because I think this was very encouraging signs for my training. But if you are wondering what I'm gonna train for, basically want massive FTP so that hill climb season, I ruin people. That is the plan. So anyway, three times 20 minute effort. So I sort of tried to do it like increasing. So the first one, 257. Derf on. I'm gonna try and sort it out. Whenever I wear it, it just like goes to zero and like doesn't really show me any data. But it wasn't too hard. This one, 268. Obviously, on this climb, it's you know it's quite steep to begin with, so it's like 274 for the first eight minutes or so. Um, but yeah, the rest of it felt pretty good. And the last one, it was mainly flat, but I managed to do 280 watts with some dropouts, so I felt pretty good about that. 281 normalized, I was like, that's um, that's pretty that's pretty solid. Like, um, considering my FTP is probably at 285, I managed to do that after I think it was after about 1500 kilojoules of um, yeah, so after 1500 kilojoules, I can still bang out like minutes or a little less than that i was pretty happy about that. and i think my threshold should be higher um so that's good so obviously i've got got an ftp test uh, i've got one more week and i've got ftp test here it's gonna be on the flat um which is an ideal because i'm not impressed anymore but you know that should be good this week was obviously pretty decent today was a bit bit soft just went out with my dad just pretty chill ride like i sort of needed it though i've been going a bit hard recently like i've i sort of think i can do like i can do 200 normalized for three hours three, four hours but it's not really like but it's it's like high zone two and it's, it's quite tiring. But anyway, the training's been good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, just gonna keep banging out. I'm gonna plan the weeks after training. I'm not really sure what's happening with the uh, obviously uni and you know what how much work I need to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it should be going well. So I think you know we've got some more classic three times twenty tempo that I'll just try and bump up the little numbers every week. This one we can see most of it's just zone two really. Um, like I'm at the point where just me riding more just does get adaptions, so that's pretty good. Um, and I'll probably do a bit more, you know, higher zone three stuff like towards sweet spot. Don't really see any point doing super hard efforts at the moment, just because I'm not sure when I'm gonna race. Um, but we'll love some Strava segments in. You know, we'll do three, four minutes full gas up a little climb, see how we do. Like that's just good fun. Um, but yeah, that's how the training's gone. And obviously YouTube, I'll try and make some videos. Um, you can see my training's been obviously pretty chaotic. Like, I had a couple of good weeks in December, but really since January, it's just it just hasn't been the consistency. But you know, like I had these two weeks here, and then this third week was when I injured my knee and stuff. So anyway, that was basically rest week, and I'm just going to build this week that that week. Um, so I think the last time, yeah. So this was when I did my 20 minute test, 21st of February. It's the 22nd today. Um, so I, you know, I got tests in early April. So I hope that. 
by that point I can be you know 310 315 hopefully because I don't know um, exactly how I'm gonna feel um, but it'll be good if I could get you know a little bit higher obviously it's on the flats so I'm not sure like this one isn't you know it's not it's not climb 90% of the time but the first like 12 to 14 minutes is sort of uphill and it's you know it's pretty it's pretty like you know, I wouldn't say it's 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 only really a tiny bit that's flat. It is generally uphill, so I'm intensity is very slow. Um, so yeah, like you can see here, it's obviously it's Cheddar Gorge. So you know, this bit up to here is pretty flat. Obviously, there's high speed. Um, so it, I mean, from here, it's still got an average gradient of like three percent. That's pretty decent. Um, obviously, this last bit here is more like two percent, but I still find that's quite useful. While the road I'm going to do it on will be like pan flat. But anyway, it is what it is. We'll, we'll see what numbers we get. Um, you know, it's all it's all roughly FTP. You can't get it bang on unless you do have a perfect climb. You do all your intervals on the climb, then you know, obviously that's that's ideal. Gym stuff. We're not sure what's going to happen, but you know, my trip, my fitness is getting up here. Seventy nine. It's not bad. Um, obviously, form is pretty terrible at the moment, um, but that's that's okay. I've got quite high fatigue. I can generally like up to about one hundred forty is all right when I'm fit. Now one hundred twenty is quite a lot considering I'm not in top condition. Um, but this week here, you can see we'll bring it back down to 75. So you're losing full fitness and like 50 TS, 50 fatigue, and minus 8 TSB. I find that's that's not bad. And also, like the thing is though, is it looks like obviously I've had two weeks here. But if you think you have two complete days off, a recovery ride, and then these are going to be really really easy rides. So by the end of the week, I should be fine. And I I don't treat this form 100% accurately. I think it's always you know within. How you're feeling, how you're recovering, doesn't know the stress off the bike. The stress off the bike recently hasn't been hasn't been mega because obviously I'm not, you know, I don't have six hour labs. Normally on a Friday I've got six hour labs, eleven till five. That you know adds quite a lot of stress. I take that as my rest day. It's not really that resting. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you've got any more videos? I want to make loads of videos because I've got free time. So if you've got any ideas, then uh, yeah, let me know and I'll bang them out. I've still got I've got loads about Colombia and San Juan. I just need to commentate on, but. I think the Remco one, I want it to be really good, but it's not in top condition yet. So, um, yeah, we'll sort that out here. Cheers for watching, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.